just came here. So it is Wednesday. It is a random Wednesday in April. I'm not really sure of the date, but I am outside of the gym. I've been going to the gym more in the mornings now. They do have morning kids club hours. So Annabelle is gonna go play with her friends and I'm gonna get my workouts on. I like to get it done in the morning now because then I feel like I have the whole day. I'm not thinking about it or worrying about it. It's just done. The only problem is like I still take a shower in the morning because I'm just a morning shower person. And then I decide to go to the gym in the morning and I've already showered, but then I usually just like wash my face and put on deodorant and that's <laughs> that's clean enough for the day. I don't really get very sweaty when I work out. I have just been doing cardio. I'm not lifting at all. It has nothing to do with being pregnant. You're allowed to lift when you're pregnant. I just have no desire to lift. I enjoy my cardio, so that's what I do. I do need to find a new show though. I was watching Little Big Lies and I finished that. I feel like I've watched all the good shows on Netflix, but if you guys have any suggestions, I said before, I'm not really watching YouTube anymore. I'm just not feeling it. I don't know, I used to always watch YouTube during cardio, but now I just don't really enjoy it so much. But here I am making YouTube videos. That doesn't really make sense, but hopefully you guys still enjoy and watch my videos for the most part. But yeah, I'm gonna go work out. And I have a couple errands to run. I'm gonna drop Annabelle off with my mom. And that's gonna be the day. Nothing too exciting planned. I did. I didn't want to show you guys this gum I bought. I bought this gum yesterday. It's freaking delicious. Grape and lemonade. It's really good. If you see it, I would buy it. But, all right, enough rambling. I'll see you in a bit. So, workout is done. It was super, super boring and uneventful. I didn't really find anything to watch. I watched a couple YouTube videos, um, but it was pretty pretty uneventful but now I'm actually getting some blood work done I have to get blood work done from my OB I don't even know what for honestly this is a comprehensive metabolic panel so I don't know I guess they're just gonna look for everything um, but I've been to this place before it's called quest diagnostics and they suck like I hate it first of all I usually have to wait for a long time but last time I was here they literally could not get my blood like they told me come back another day we can't get it and I was like what like it's hard enough for me to get someone to watch Annabelle for an hour so I can get this done and you're telling me to come back so hopefully they can get it I did drink two of these things of water and then I'm going to snack on this little detour bar I actually really like these this is the cookie dough flavor and I like them because they're small it's only like 150 calories 10 grams of protein but it's a good little like post-workout snacky thing and they're like an oatmeal bar so I don't know it's a good snack these do not make me nauseous I actually ate a quest bar the other day because I thought like oh it'll be okay I really want one so I ate a cookie dough quest bar and I got super super nauseous so munchkin does not like quest bars I've been just eating these and um square bars actually early and power crunch bars sometimes but anywho rambling about that something else that just happened super annoying my phone, I might have to go to Verizon later, it just says that I have no contacts in my phone book. Like, I had a lot of contacts. I went to call my OB to schedule another appointment, and they're just gone. And I just, like, turned my phone off and turned it back on, because I feel like sometimes that solves all problems. But I don't know what to do, so I think I'm going to have to go to Verizon later today, which I really don't want to do. But it's weird, if I go to type a text message, like people's numbers still come up. But, I don't know, it's annoying. So hopefully I can get that fixed. I have no idea what that's all about. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go get some blood work done. Hopefully they can get it. I have like teeny tiny little veins. They always have to use a butterfly needle. And sometimes people just can't get it, which is really, really annoying, but wish me luck. So I am actually at Starbucks now. I had a little bit of time to kill before I have to go pick up Annabelle. So I come here I'm trying to get a little bit of work done because anytime now when I get my computer out with Annabelle, she just wants to play on it. So I have some emails to write. And then I just got a decaf coffee, but I got like two inches of steamed almond milk, which I guess is called a misto. That's what they wrote on it. But I just can't drink coffee anymore unless there's like a lot of milk in it. So I got that with cinnamon and a ton of Splenda because I still really like my Splenda. I can't give it up, but I haven't tried their almond milk yet. I don't know if it's like vanilla or sweetened or unsweetened, but let's give it a try. 
actually really good. It's like really creamy. Um, and then it was funny, I was setting up my camera and this guy was like kind of watching me. Everybody's actually watching me right now, which is a little awkward, but do it for the YouTube. But he told me about this loom cube. He like wrote this down on a paper and like slid it over to me all like spy-like, um, which was kind of funny. I thought it was like giving me his number or something. But he said it's like a light because I was complaining that the lighting in here was like really bad, which it is, I apologize. But so I might look into this loom cube. I don't know. I guess it's like something you put on your camera and it makes the light better. So I'm gonna look into that, write some emails, and drink my coffee. So I am such a sucker for new treats and stuff at the store. When I see them, I just have to try them. So I found these. They are orange cream cakes, little Debbie. I love little snack cakes in general. And I don't normally love fruity cake things, but these are delicious. They taste like an orange creamsicle cake. My only complaint, I guess, is they're really small. Like, you just get, there's like one little bite there. So, they're kind of tiny, but I don't even, I didn't even look at the nutrition. Well, that's not too bad, though. Under 200 calories for a creamsicle cake. And you get eight of them. So, not bad for two bucks, but I would definitely buy them again and I would highly recommend them if you like orange cream school stuff. Just to show you guys that I have been eating my veggies, this is just a steamer bag, so I steamed it for like five minutes and then I put it in a pan like this so it kind of gets some of the moisture out of it because I feel like otherwise it's like really watery. Um, and then what I do, and some people are gonna think this is weird, but I take a little bit of soy sauce and a little bit of sugar-free syrup just a little bit and it's like a sweet and salty kind of sauce like a sweet soy sauce i don't know trust me it is good if you like sweet and salty stuff you could definitely add like rice and noodles and that kind of thing to this but i've just been eating my veggies as veggies just trying to like get them in and then i also put a little bit of sea salt this is just a brand that someone sent me, I don't know, but any kind of salt. And then I eat them out. And this is just one bag, so I think it's like four servings of veggies, and I just figure I eat this, and I'm good on my veggies for the day. I just got up from a two hour nap, which was fantastic, but my stomach is a mess ever since i drank that coffee which i only drank like half of it and it started making me feel kind of like nauseous it tasted good but i just don't think munchkin likes coffee i think we have to stick to tea and hot cocoa and then i think when i ate the veggies that just was a bad combination so i've literally just been eating ritz crackers like i ate almost an entire sleeve of them but it's just all i want i just want like buttery salty crackers. I actually wish I had the honey ones, like the honey Ritz, but we buy the Aldi brand, so they will do. But that's pretty much all I want to eat the rest of the day because my stomach is a mess. So that is that. But um, what I did want to talk to you guys about real quick are my shots and how my shots are going. So I am still taking the progesterone shots because we did IVF in order to get pregnant, in case you didn't know. And I have to take them for at least another two weeks. And then I might have to take them even longer, but I have an appointment in two weeks and then they'll let me know. But the good thing, dropping needles on the floor, that is not the good thing. The good thing is that I was able to get, let me set you down, a little bit smaller of a needle. So they were like two inch needles and now they are one inch needles, so still not super fun. And the part that really sucks since Jim is gone, sorry, my head is cut off, but since Jim has been gone so much, I have to give the shot to myself. So rather than do it by myself, I thought I would do it with you guys. Um, just to show you, you know, if there is anyone out there that has to do these shots and has to maybe give them to themselves, that it can be done and it's not that bad. The first time I did it, I almost passed out, but since then I've gotten pretty darn good at it. So you just draw up the medication. It takes a long time because it's an oil, so it's like really thick. 
All right, so there we go. And then we alcohol swab the area. Don't worry, you're not really gonna see my butt. It's, I mean, it is kind of your butt, but you know. And you just, you just do it. It's, it's more difficult to do the other side because of the angle. Um, and sometimes it does bleed a little bit. Let's hope we don't get a bleeder. See, it's not bad. And then you just have to push it in. It's kind of hard to push because of the oil. It's so thick. And we're done. Hardly any blood. And then you just have to kind of like massage it like that. And we are done. So like I said, just in case there is anyone out there that has to do these shots for IVF or any other fertility treatments, you can do it. I never thought I'd be able to do it, give myself shots, but I did it and I survived. So that is that, gonna dispose of this and go eat some more Ritz crackers. So I'm finally getting around to making this white chocolate Easter bark. I was gonna post it for Easter, but I feel like these are still spring colors, so it will be fine. But I just have in here just regular white chocolate chips and then I add a couple of these cocoa butter buttons. I get them from Wild Foods and it just helps it bake better. Annabelle wants white chocolate chips. She knows I'm making something good. Okay, one, one, okay. <laughs> Even though that was like her fifth one, but that's okay. Um, so I'm just gonna melt this in the microwave. I stir it like every 30 seconds. Like I said, these just help so the white chocolate doesn't get like clumpy and burnt. And I'm gonna put these in this bag and smash them with whatever this is and hope it works. So I probably should have melted more white chocolate, but that'll give me like five or six pieces. And then I still have a lot of extra crushed up here, but that won't go to waste. So make sure you put it on parchment paper though, or it will stick and you won't be able to get it off. And then I found some little pastel sprinkles. Sprinkles make everything better. And there we go. Easter bark or spring bark, I guess. So this is gonna go in the freezer until it sets up and then we will break it into pieces. So here is the finished product. And I don't know about you, but I love white chocolate and peanut butter together. So really good. You can obviously add any toppings, use any kind of chocolate, but I'm gonna take a couple pictures of this and then I just store it in the freezer or refrigerator, either one, but it probably won't last very long. So I'll probably just stick it in the freezer. Um, and then if you're stingy like me, I save the parchment paper because the chocolate comes right off. So nothing wrong with it. We will reuse it for next time. So we just got back from the Verizon store and they did fix my phone. It was like a simple thing with the iCloud. I guess Annabelle probably messed it up when she was playing with my phone, which I probably shouldn't let her do, but she really likes it. And the good thing was that the Verizon store is right next to Dunkin' Donuts. So we went back again. We're going to be going there like all the time. Luckily, donuts are pretty inexpensive. So. Annabelle just got a munchkin. She took one bite of it and I ate the rest of it. And I got, this might be my favorite. This is the Pittsburgh cream. I'm not sure what it's called if you don't live in Pittsburgh, but it has like the white filling, like not the custard Boston cream. It has like white sweet icing and chocolate frosting and it's freaking delicious. And I'm really excited to sit outside and enjoy my donut. I think I've had my fill of Ritz crackers. So this donut sounds pretty good. Got enough salty stuff, now I need some sweet stuff. And that's gonna be it. We're just gonna play outside for a couple hours and get a bath and go to bed. So thanks very much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a fun comment down below and we'll see you next time. Annabelle, do you wanna say bye? What are you eating? <laughs> Veggie straws. Can I have one? Can I have one? Uh. No. Can I have a yellow one? Bye. Can I have a green one? <gasps> Can I have it? Oh, you little booger. <laughs>